Hi guys, welcome back to our short videos. Um, welcome back. And what we're gonna do today is adding on to the sequence to make sure that you guys get full body. Today we're gonna do core. Um, Jess and I put together four moves that will get your front, it'll get your back, and it'll get your sides, right? Because core is 360. Um, again, it's body weight workouts, so guys, just like we did for your legs in the previous video. Um, you need absolutely no equipment other than just some space for you to move, yeah? Um, you'll need your lungs, so we'll teach you how to breathe, and then we're going to get it going. Um, we shall start with straight leg in. Get up. It looks like this. Actually, Jess, do you want to guide this? Yep. Cool. I shall follow Jess. All right, so lying all the way down on your back. Legs stay out straight. You can keep your arms up overhead. You can also cross them over your chest. Your choice. And then all we do is pull the belly back and we lift all the way up. Yep, back down. Lift up. Inhale as you go back down. Exhale as you come up. Oh, you know, doing? Doing? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, guys, the one thing that I noticed for me is that when I roll up, if I unlock my knees a little bit, that helps me. Yep. Try, to, try to make sure that you're not locking out your knees and then roll all the way up and all the way back and there's absolutely no rush. As a matter of fact, the slower you go, the more strength you'll build. I think we should do at least four more. Three. Two. And one. Really good. And I feel that all the way down to my low abs. Yeah. I believe our next one. I was going to say the reason we have our legs out straight versus bent like this is it's a little less pressure on our low back and takes away from sometimes we can feel back pain from the crunches when yeah. you don't work sit ups like this. For sure. So legs out straight and slight bend, like you said. Well, for sure. You guys always want to be protected, right? The goal is that you gain strength not to hurt your body with the exercises. It's important to do it correctly and safe. Hence, we're making these workouts for you. Okay, next one. Let's go on to our back. Put your hands behind your bum. Cool. And then glue your legs in together. And guys, on average, one of your legs weighs anywhere from like 40 to 60 pounds. So if, when you put them together, yeah, <laughs> big muscles <laughs> and bones, guys, there. So if you lift them up, imagine if my legs, they probably do weigh 60 each. That's 120 that you're lifting with your lower abs. Now here, this is really important. Check it out. When you lift it up, guys, a lot of times I see in classes when we do that, people come all the way in here. And when you pull it in, that actually disengages your abs. So what we want to do is keep it engaged the whole time. And that's why I yell at you all the time with heels. Go right over your hips. And then the goal is if here's your belly button, your toes don't go over your belly. Yeah, work on that. Again, more alignment versus rushing through it. It gets you better results. So let's get it. Let's do eight. Yeah? Yep. So let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, I feel him. Don't let your back off the ground. Three, two, one. Woo. Hey. Yeah, I feel that low abs for sure. Cool. What's next? Forward plank. Mm -hmm. Forearm plank with hip dips. Yeah. Cool. So come to your forearms and then place your shoulders right on top of your elbows. And then I'll let you get this one. Sorry, I left the chat up there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome. We're going to tuck our toes, lift our knees, and push our forearms into the floor. You want to tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes, actively push hands, fingers if you can, and forearms in. From here, we're taking it to each side. Yeah. So we dip. Come back to center. Dip. Back to center. Use your breath. Help guide you through. You should feel it in your obliques in the side. I feel it in my Maybe your shoulders. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go for it. Three, two. Keep a long spine from head to heel. One. Hand. Yeah. Oh, All right. Those are good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Cool. And then guys, since course 360, if you think about it, we got the top of your abs, right? We got the low of your abs. So we got each side and then your back's left. So on your head. Yeah. Um, there's many different ways of doing it. How do you usually do it, Jess? I actually switch it up. Um, sometimes I've done traditional Superman. Okay. Those are also hard. this. Okay. I'm going to do, since I don't have much room to reach, I'm going to do fingers by my ears. I'm not holding on to that, guys, right? Like, I'm not, like, thugging up my head. It's just right there, so it's elevated off the ground. It activates my shoulders, and then we'll do eight, yeah? Yep. Okay. When you come up is where your inhale is, and that helps because if, if you inflate your lungs, I go, then there's lungs pushing out, aiding me to lift a little higher. Right? Mm -hmm. And then release. Yeah. Cool. Let's go eight. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Remember to squeeze your glutes as well as you lift. Mm -hmm. Four. Five. Mm -hmm. Six. Seven. And last one. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Happy core. <laughs> Happy core. Happy core day. Um, guys, it really is. As Jess said, if you squeeze your glutes, it activates your low back a little more. Really good. Um, also, if you notice, we spend just a split second to arrive there. Hold that isometric hold that squeeze will help you build a little more strength in your back. And then we put it down versus up and down, up and down, right? We spend a moment in that contraction and then we release. So work on that. Cool. Awesome, guys. Have I guess I can turn off the video. <laughs> have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, for those of you that are looking for a full body workout, we have just created an upper body, a lower body, and a core workout. Short, right? Really short little tutorials. If you want to make it a full body workout, add them up. Good luck. We'll Woo! see you in the next video. Bye, guys.